hello friends my name is Taufik and you're watching my channel graphics den so in this video I'm going to tell you how we can create mockups in Adobe Illustrator and that too very easily so let's get started so I have selected this box which I have downloaded from unsplash.com so you can choose any box that you want now we are going to use this option called as the free transform tool now I'm going to use this image so I'll copy this and paste it over here remember you cannot use this tool directly on any image so if I try to use it directly so it won't affect this image so we have to use another option with this so we need to put this image into an object first then we need to use the same option so I'm going to create a rectangle of the same size now I'm going to put the image into this object now I'm going to select both image and the object and remember the object needs to be in front of the image so if it if it is like this so if it is like behind arrange so if it is behind the object it won't work it won't get inserted into the object so first make sure that the object is in front of the image now select both object and image and go to object and envelope distort and make with top object so the image will be inserted into the object now we can use this option so once you open the transform option we need to use this option called as free distort so what this option does it will make all the four corners individual or separate so we can use them separately or move them separately like this so put it properly on the box and zoom it as much as you want because if you put this properly only then the result will be proper I will zoom it a little bit more as you can see this looks good to me and over here I need to put this point at this corner like this just make sure that you are putting it properly one more remaining and this is only the first step we need to do another step to make it more realistic but I think for now this looks good and for the side I'm going to use this particular portion of the image so I'll copy this and paste again we need to put this inside the shape so I'll create another shape rectangle and I will again put this inside the shape envelope distort make with top object again I'm going to use the same option free transform and free distort so I'm going to put this on the front side like this and again make sure that you are putting it properly so that it looks good in the final output or result and as you can see this is very easy to create just it might take a little bit time because we are making it properly so it might take a take a while but not too much so like this make sure the corners are rightly connected to each other and this, this looks pretty good to me now one more side is remaining so I will copy this one more time Control c and Control v and if you are using Mac then Command c and Command v again I will create another rectangle and I will select both object and the image envelope distort make with top object so I am going to put this on this side again we need to use the same option free transform and this option here free distort and 
put it properly like this this is very easy to achieve and create and I think this looks pretty good to me okay I think we are good to go to the next step so this is the mock-up that we have created and this looks pretty good to me now one more step we have to apply first select all three you can do it individually but it will save us some, save us some time to select them together and now go to transparency panel if you are not able to see the transparency panel over here simply go to window and turn on the transparency panel from the window option menu so this is the transparency panel so I already have this transparency panel over here so from this transparency panel we need to use the blending mode so I am going to choose the multiply as you can see different blending mode will give us different options if you have used Photoshop then you will know this option blending modes so multiply and this looks pretty good to me you can you are free to try different blending modes but I think to me this looks pretty good to me so this is how and as you can see this looks more realistic as compared to the normal blending mode so this is how we can create mockups and that too using very simple steps so uh, if you find this video useful please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers